Gavilan puts his title on the line against Chuck Davey. Chicago, 11th of February, 1953. Round one. Davey in the black trunks. 147 pounds tonight, exactly the welterweight limit. Gavilan, a half pound ladder, 146 and a half. Seventeen thousand five hundred fans packed into Chicago Stadium tonight. A two hundred and seventy-five thousand dollar gate. A new record for a welterweight title fight. Chuck Davies, twenty-six years old. He's a graduate of Michigan State University, where he won two degrees. He's had 39 fights as a pro, and he's won them all. Gavilan's a rough, tough fighter. The harder the going, the better he likes it. He hasn't lost a fight in two years against the toughest competition, and he's the favorite tonight, 14 to 5. The end of round one. In the second round, Davy continues to box and keep away from Gavilan. Now round three of the 15 round welterweight title fight between champion Kid Gavilan of Cuba and Chuck Davy, the sensational Michigan State Southpaw. He's up at nine. End of round three. In the next two rounds, Davy uses his right jab and keeps away from Gavilan. Now round six. Gavilan switches to a southpaw style every once in a while. He does that to confuse Davy, probably.
Kid Gavilan has never been knocked out. Even the great Sugar Ray Robinson couldn't knock him off his feet in two fights. End of round six. In the seventh and eighth rounds, Davy continues to dance and box out of trouble. Now here we are in round nine of this 15-round World Wellerweight Championship battle between Kid Gavilan, the champion, and Chuck Davy, Chicago Stadium. from falling after Gavilan landed that right. Up at nine. Terrific left uppercut right on the jaw. Up again at nine. Makes it at nine. The end of the round. Round ten. But Davies handlers won't let him come out. He's a badly beaten fighter. Under the Illinois rules, it scored as a TKO in the tenth round. Kid Gavilan the winner and still welterweight champion of the world.